Excellent work. We're just coming up to halfway on this. And nine. Last one here. We're going to go into ice and hold, which is going to bring the arm up forwards and holding it here. Good stuff. Excellent. Everybody, let's keep it going. Oh, my body's trying to spasm. Let's try and fight that off. Three. What's up guys, Ben Clark here for Adapt to Perform and today I've got a great little fitness routine here for you. In today's video we are going to only need two pieces of equipment, that is going to be our cardio pole and some sort of weight that's relatively light. Uh, it's going to be a great session combining cardio work and muscular endurance which is going to be fantastic for things like pushing your wheelchair and endurance during the day. Without further ado, let's get on with that warm up and get started with today's session. Okay, let's get started with that warm up. So all we're doing here is to start swinging our arm around just like so. Now warm up is gonna be really important for this session because it's gonna be a quite a difficult one. So you wanna make sure that our arms are fully prepared, fully ready to, for the session ahead of us. So we're just gonna do arm circles there forwards, then we're gonna switch direction now and go backwards, okay? Warm ups are super important. Make sure you don't skip them because it means that we are fully mentally and physically prepared as much as we can be for the work ahead. And we're gonna to need to be today because it's gonna be a pretty tough one. Let's go forwards with this arm now. So for this workout, you're gonna need two pieces of equipment. Equipment piece number one, you're gonna need a pole just like the one I've got here. It can be a broom handle, PVC pipe, a stick from the garden, whatever you've got lying around, just grab a pole. The other thing you're gonna need is a weight of some sort. Now not a very heavy weight, somewhere in between for yourself. For me, that's a two and a half kilogram kettlebell that I'm going to be using, the one that I've got back here. Let's go back with this arm now. And basically with that, we're going to be doing some exercises. Uh, and the way we're going to work this out is we're going to do one minute of cardio. Let's just do touching opposite shoulder now. So yeah, one minute of cardio with the pole, followed by 10 reps on one arm with the weight, followed by an isometric hold, then 10 reps on the other arm, followed by an isometric hold on that arm as well. Let's take this arm up here now and go up, up to the sky. That's it, good work. Yeah, um, and then once we've done that, that is one set done. Then we're gonna do three different exercises, but in the same order. So cardio followed by 10 reps. Let's change arms here. Followed by an isometric hold on both arms. And then we're gonna do it again on another one. Uh, and it's gonna be pretty tough because once we've done all three of those, we're gonna repeat the set, but let's just go arms out here. We're gonna repeat that whole set again, but we're gonna change the arm that we start with, okay? So say we've been doing it with the right arm to begin with, we're gonna be doing it with the left arm, just because we need to make sure it's balanced out, because one's getting a little bit harder work out if we do it one at a time, okay? So it's gonna be a pretty tough session, and that's why we wanna be warming up well here. Good work. Okay, without further ado, let's get that pole ready and get started. Okay, we're gonna start in 10 seconds here and we're gonna start with some paddling forwards just like so in four, three, two, one. We're doing this for a minute, off we go. Good work so far. Keep the pace nice and good. We wanna make sure that we're getting our heart rate up nice and high on this. So, you know, no dilly dallying on this one. Make sure we're going pretty quick pace. Good stuff, let's keep it going guys. Awesome stuff, that's 15 seconds done. Let's keep it going. Excellent work. So yes, this might seem easy to begin with, but this session is just gonna get tougher and tougher. So, uh, you know, bear with it and keep it going. Excellent work. We're just coming up to halfway on this. 30 more seconds to go. Good work. Paneling it around. You can imagine you going down some white water rapids or something, you know, you're paddling, paddling, you know. Seeing the beautiful scenery around you, pretending you're not in a room talking to a camera like I am. <laughs> all right, we got coming up to 10 seconds left now. Keep it going. Make sure we're pushing all the way through this. There's no rest as we go into the next part. So five, four, three, two, one. So our only rest is to grab the weight. And then we're gonna go into our first exercise here, which is bicep curls. To overhead press. So we're gonna go one, two. Good stuff. Get the full range of motion that you can get. Don't worry if you can't get all the way up over your head. Just do the best you can. 
that's five and six and seven and eight and nine last one here we're going to go into isometric hold which is going to bring the arm up forwards and holding it here i'm going to hold it here for 30 seconds a okay? case so that's going to be pretty difficult keep it going though excellent work so far good this is where it gets tough but you gotta dig deep and try and uh, keep that arm up as best you can excellent stuff okay that's halfway keep it going only 10 seconds left five four three two one rest in there other side now 10 reps off we go one two three four five six seven good stuff eight nine ten let's hold it out forwards good stuff oh getting a bit of a spasm there <laughs> fight that one off and let's keep it going excellent work that's 10 seconds in 20 to go holding it there excellent so once we've done this one we're going to move on to the next exercises so we're going to grab the cardio pole off this have a little bit of rest though in between maybe grab a little bit of a drink five seconds to go three two one rest in there excellent stuff i'm just going to put that weight down there that'll do and then go grab my pole I'm just gonna have a little bit of rest, okay? So that is set number one. So hopefully you've got a bit of an idea now of how this is sort of laid out as such, uh, which is what we want. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go on to set number two, just making sure my, uh, my timer is on still. <laughs> Excellent work. Okay, so for set number two, we're gonna go through a different set of exercises now. So the foot, Cardio bit is going to go pushing up, pushing forwards, and I'll explain as we go through. Alrighty, so we've got another 20 seconds rest here, so it's a minute in the rest period here. And good stuff so far. Excellent work. So yes, one minute of forwards and up. Going in five seconds. Ready, three, two, one. Off we go, so forwards and up. Good stuff, excellent. Everybody, let's keep it going. Good work. So yes, as I said, this workout starts off easier as such, you know, but as we go through, it's gonna get a lot tougher. And we're gonna be changing our exercise as well, so um, in between. So obviously we started, we had the bicep curls to overhead press. I'm going to do something different on this next one and a different hold as well. So, you know, but it's easier to show than it is to talk about. Anyway, we've got 20 seconds left here. Great work so far. Good. Last 10. Great stuff, everybody. Let's keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's grab that weight, Let's make this time as short as possible, and then we're going to go here. Make sure it's the right arm again that you're using, or if you used the left arm last time doing that, you're going to come up to the side, round to the front, and down, and then round, and down. Good stuff. That's one. We're going to just do five of these. Two. Three, because it's two exercises in one pretty much. Four, five, and then the hold, we're gonna go up to the side here, and this one's gonna be a tough one, everybody. So let's keep it going. <sighs> Excellent. So remember, holding for 30 seconds, or as close to 30 seconds if you can. If it's not the full 30, don't worry too much. Just do the best you can here. Oh, my body's trying to spasm. <laughs> let's try and fight that off. Get back into it. Oh, still going a little bit. Excellent work, though, everybody. In. Stop there. Rest in there. Good work. Excellent. 
Oh, let's go on to the other side. Ready, off we go. So, one, two, three, four, five. Ready, up to the side, off we go. Good stuff. So holding it there, excellent. 20 more seconds to go. This is where it feels tough, your arm starts to wobble a bit. You just gotta dig deep and believe that you can make it. Belief is half the battle. Let's keep it going everybody. Last five seconds, get it there, don't let that arm drop down. Three, two, one, excellent work, okay. All right, the end. Into the third and final exercise before we switch arms with what we're doing with the exercises. Okay, so the last one we are going to be doing here is the side twist one. So if you don't know what this one is, um, I'm sure all those people that come and watch my live videos will know this one because it's a pretty tough one, especially when you do it for a while. So it's going from the side here. We're going to twist up and then we're going to come down. Just the up and then down, okay? So what have we got? We've got another 20 seconds rest here-ish. Okay. Whew. Feeling warm, but feeling good at the same time, okay? So another 15, so it's up across and down. We're gonna keep this up a good pace for a minute. 10 seconds to go. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Off you go. Good stuff. Excellent, let's keep it moving. Let's keep the energy high. And we feel that burn starting to come in, hopefully. You should feel warmer definitely by now. Good stuff. Excellent. That's halfway. Let's keep it going. Last 30 seconds now. Well, 25. By the time I stop talking there, let's keep it going. Excellent. So again, we're changing exercises in five seconds. Three, two, one. Stop in there, putting that to the side. So this last one, what we're gonna do is put in the weight up and then back out. If you can't do this one with the triceps, just in a single arm, okay? Ready, off we go. 10, sec 10 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, ten. Holding it there. Oh boy, this is going to be tough on this one. I always think this is the hardest one to hold. That's ten seconds in. Number twenty to go. Oh boy, it's tough. We're going to keep it going. Excellent work. Last five, four, three, two, one. Changing sides, okay? So switch them over. I'm just turning so you can see what we're doing. You don't need to turn your chair. Ready? Ready, off we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Okay, let's keep it going. Whew. Can really feel on this one. Feeling those triceps burn, feeling the rear deltoids burn a bit as well. Again, just doing the best you can here. And don't worry if it's not quite the 30 seconds, just holding it for as long as you can, okay? If that's five seconds, that's great. As long as you're pushing yourself, okay? Good stuff. Last 10 now. Five, four, three, 
two, one, rest in there. Excellent work, everybody, so far. We have a little bit of extra rest there. And as I said, we're gonna go through this set one more time. So the whole thing, through again. So exactly halfway through. And the idea is here, I've been using the right arm here on the first one of every, you know, of every set. I'm gonna switch now to my left hand. And the reason that is because when I'm doing the cardio, we get a little bit fatigued there, okay? So what we wanna do is, it's pre-fatigued and this one gets worked first. So this one is actually getting a little bit of a rest. So we're gonna swap that round. So then this one's getting worked first and this one gets that little bit of rest before you work it. So it's a little bit different way, um, but it means that we're getting that balance in between. As I said, we're gonna get an extra little bit of rest here and then we get going. So make sure we've got our poles ready though. Grab a drink as well and uh, we get started, okay? Excellent work so far though, everybody. This is a really good session and I uh, hope you're feeling it and it should be quite, quite a good one to uh, you know, build up that cardio, build up that endurance, um, build up you know, muscular endurance. It's gonna be fantastic for pushing your wheelchair. You can enjoy the outdoors a little bit more uh, rather than you know, uh, struggling to push you know, you know, and having problems with you know, getting worn out rather than enjoying your scenario. I know I've been on holiday where I've been like, Ugh, really pushing the chair, getting exhausted when I'm in a beautiful location and that's what I need to be enjoying, okay? So uh, that's my personal opinion anyway. Just checking this you know, isn't gonna turn off, which is good. All right, so for the timer as well, just so you know, because uh, a lot of people always ask, what am I using for the timer here? If I'm doing a HIIT workout, I use a HIIT interval timer, but for this one, I just get up um, the timer on my phone um, and just have it keep running. Because obviously when we're doing the, the 10X reps, uh, we have that, um, it could change in time. So obviously I'm not gonna commit to 30 seconds or a minute or whatever it might be. So having that little, you know, having a timer on screen just so I can see what the 30 seconds it, or the minute is or the 30 seconds is. Uh, but you can use any clock if you're using this in your own time or you just follow along with me here because I'll tell you. Anyway, we've got another 20 seconds to go here and then we're gonna get back into that first set. And remember, we're changing arms, okay? We wanna make sure we're getting that workout in. If you forgot what arm you're using, we're using. It's normally the one that feels more tired is the one you use first, okay? <laughs> okay, ready, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, off we go. So just paddling forwards, excellent stuff. In fact, if you wanna switch this up as well, you can paddle backwards instead for this minute. So just adding a little bit of variety in there, keeping it interesting, keeping it slightly different. You know, variety is uh, always important during workouts. We wanna make sure that we are um, keeping things interesting. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. Just over halfway, or just coming up to halfway, sorry. So that's 30 seconds done. Excellent work so far. So keep that pace high. We don't wanna slack off here. We wanna make sure we're keeping it going. Even when we're tired, pushing through this cardio part to make sure that when we get onto the weights part, it's gonna be equally tough. We wanna make it uh, tough of when we're doing the weights. Because if we did the weights just alone, they would be a little bit easier. So just adding this extra bit in makes it more difficult. Anyway, in three, two, one. Rest it in there. I say rest. Grabbing the weight. Remember, changing arms this time. And back to bicep curl to overhead press for 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And ready, holding out to the front, off we go. 30 seconds, best you can though, remember? If you can only do five, that's great. Maybe try and, if you're only getting to five, get a spasm here. Uh, if you're only getting to five, maybe drop it down for five seconds and then go again and keep it going. Maybe do as long as you can within that 30 seconds, you know, there's, there's ways to push yourself. Ready, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Changing arms straight into it. Off we go, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10 and forward, ready, off we go. Excellent. So hopefully there should be a timer up on the screen, keeping me honest anyway. And if my uh, editing, editing skills, skills are still good, it's been a while since I've done an editing of a video. Because I've been doing the live sessions a lot recently. Oh, keep it going. It's struggling there with that arm. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Rest in there, excellent work. So minutes rest, and then we're going again. Ooh, gonna struggle to put, put up this pole now. So yes, next we're going into, again, the forwards and up, and then for the exercise, it's the one where we go round and then back again for five reps. The reason it's five reps is because we're doing, you know, one, one, two, it's, it, it makes sense to me. <laughs> Anyway, 30 more seconds rest, and then the hold is obviously out to the side, okay? If you want to as well, there is a way you can do this exercise in a shorter amount of time, and that is to do double arm, if you have that capability. I know a lot of people don't have core functions, so it might be a bit more difficult to hold weights out here, for example. But you can do it with two weights, uh, and then, you know, do that exercise. You know, you can do this exercise as well. All the exercises you can do double arm, and you can do the holds double arm as well. So if, you have a, if you're short for time, that's a quicker way to do the workout. Anyway, ready, three, two, one, off we go. So one minute, I'm doing this. Excellent, let's keep it going. Great stuff, that's 15 seconds down, number 45. Yeah, so get ready full range of motion that you can go through. So really reach up, reaching forwards. Best you can here, guys. We're over halfway now. Excellent job, keep it going, keep it going. 20 seconds remaining. And if you wanna make this set tougher, there's a couple of ways you can do that. Add wrist weights, and you guys at whole level intensity here, okay? And taking this, remember to bring it up to your left hand, or the other hand, you know, what you know what we're starting with. I'm gonna go out to the side, around to the front, back up, and that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four, that's five. Ready, holding up to the side, off we go. Oh, this one's tough after that exercise. <laughs> certain ones are tougher after certain exercises, so it's good to get this in. <sighs> Keep it going, oh my, my arms. Feeling it, halfway. <sighs> Come on, Ben, <laughs> you can do it. Come on, you guys as well. Let's keep it going, 10 seconds. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Switching arms. Off we go. So around. One, two, three, four, five. Are we ready? Let's go into the holds, off we go. Excellent work. You know when it starts to get tough when I start to be a bit quieter on camera. It's difficult talking while you're exercising. We recommend it. Good stuff, good stuff. Keep it going, keep it going. Five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, resting there for a bit now. Okay, sorry for the little bit of a jump cut there in the video. Unfortunately, my phone ran out of battery, so I had to uh, get my computer up with the timer. So don't worry, there's no, you're not gonna miss any rest here before we go into this final exercise. Just wanted to make sure I got those timers right, because otherwise, you know, my counting's not that good. So <laughs> making sure we're doing it properly. And don't worry, I didn't get any 
extra rest, maybe about 15 seconds, but don't worry, it's all good. Main thing is that you're getting this workout, okay? So again, last set now, which is the turning side to side, okay? And then followed by the exercise where we do the tricep extension one, okay? So we've got another 20 seconds of rest here and uh, we'll get going. Alrighty. Hope you're doing all good so far. This is the final little bit of the session. Let's make sure that we're putting all that effort in, making sure that we are keeping ourselves fit and healthy, okay? Excellent work, everybody. Okay, so we've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Off we go. So a minute like this. Good stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this workout anyway. I will say, if you have been, at the end of the video, be sure to hit the like button. It really does help out the video. It tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is worth watching and you should definitely do that because uh, more people can get, watch it, more people can enjoy it. And uh, it means that the video qualities will get higher because, you know, I get more people watching, which is all good. Then, if you're new here, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I think it's about 50% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is blasphemy. Come on, subscribe to the channel, it really does help out. Uh, then I will say as well, if you like the t-shirt I'm wearing and you want to get your own, you get a bit of adaptive perform merch and help support the channel, there's a link in the description down below where you can buy a t-shirt just like this one. Anyway, five seconds after this, keep it going. Excellent stuff. And rest in there, when well, I say rest, what I mean is grab the weight and carry on working out. Again, we're coming here and then extend out, excellent. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, good work. Excellent. Oh boy. Let's keep it going. So yeah, the other thing you can do, whilst I'm uh, getting exhausted talking about this, if you want to support the channel and get to meet other great people, you know, other people that are in wheelchairs, other people that love fitness, um, you know, different disabilities and all that, they're all really interested in the same things you are probably. Three, two, one, rest in there. You can come and join us on Patreon. So if you support on Patreon, at any level, you get to join our Zoom chats every single Saturday. Let's go into this arm now anyway. Two. So every Saturday we have a Zoom chat as a community. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holding on that tenth one. And uh, we'd love to have you join in. So you just support on Patreon. Any level you support at, you can come and join us in our Patreon chats. Let's focus now on this last little bit. In five, four, three, two, one. Keep it going. <laughs> Tricked you there. We've got another 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it was done there, but it wasn't. And rest in there. Excellent work. Oh, that is it for today's session, everybody. Good job. Excellent work. Make sure you keep hydrated now and uh, that will definitely help you out. But I hope you enjoyed that session today, guys. I certainly did. It was a fantastic one. As I said, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Go and buy some t-shirt. There is um, a hoodie now, seeing as it's winter this time of year. Might be worth getting a hoodie. And also, be sure to support on Patreon. It really does help out the channel. It makes this bigger, better, and more awesome all together. But again, thank you very much for watching, guys. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.